Hello and welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. Last time we stopped in the foreign plaza of Vivek, and in, in the foreign quarter plaza in Vivek, and we got a strange leaflet. Let me check that one again. A leaflet. Have no dealings with Arana Freyrnis. Yes, this leaflet was accusing Arana Freyrnis, whoever that is, I, of course, don't remember, as I always don't, um, of, uh, of unethical business practices and uh, actually poisoning the, uh, the customers. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to go to the Mages Guild and have a little nap. I could have done this in between recordings, but honestly, if I need to endure the napping, you need to do it too. I just want to have a little nap, thank you very much. I'm going to go downstairs and head for the beds. I think this is one that I can actually use and I'm going to sleep until I'm healed. There we go. Let's head back upstairs. Thank you very much for the bed. Let me check for more Restore Magicka potions because I'm a mage and I always need them. Thank you very much. This is guild supply and I am the rank to be able to use them. I'm not going to do the prominent cheat of uh, taking everything out and selling it every time it's refilled. No, that is too below me. Now look at the beautiful sun. This is something I really like about this game. Sun going down, casting the rays. This is just serene. I mean, if it wasn't for the wild beasts, I actually would love to vacation here. Well, and if it wasn't for the racism. There we go. <clears throat> Let's go to the upper wasteworks and start checking for... Uh, and I forgot the name again, but I'm pretty sure if I read the name, I will... I will know who it is. This is not her. This isn't her either. It was something Orane or something. Something, something Orane. Let's head downstairs into the lower waste works. I'm waiting. Yep. You're waiting. I'm checking out where I can go. Handy low kennel works. There she is. Orana Freris Apothecary. If that's how you pronounce the word. Um, as every time. Actually, if I mispronounce a word, you can um, just ping me. <clears throat> best not in chat, but uh, with a quick video response or something like that, and correct my spelling or um, pronunciation in that case, actually. Because uh, as I am a non-native speaker, I strive to learn how to pronounce things. On the other hand, I know that things are pronounced differently in different regions, and there is the American way and the English way to pronounce it. And when we Germans learn English, we actually learn something called school English, which, which is neither the American way nor the English way, which I kind of think is confusing because I personally think we should learn the English way because that's, as far as I understand, where the language, the language originates from. Anyhow, let's head... That was Andilo. That, that's the wrong... That's the alchemist, not the apothecary. That, that's... That's my problem. There, There's my problem. Okay. There we go, that's the right one. Excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Um, did you know that there is this guy up in the in the, in the plaza um, who, who, who uh, cans out, le out leaflets uh, telling people to not buy from your shop? A leaflet? What's this? This is ridiculous. It's all lies. Why? Someone must pay for this. I tell you what, Nighty. If you can find... If you can find out who's behind this slander, I'll reward you well. Ask whoever gave you this leaflet what's going on. This is an outrage. Okay, I'm going to do this. So let's just head back up and see. Of course, if the one who is sending out the papers is also the one doing the slander, uh, who printed them, that is, then this would be pretty hard because he will just claim that it's all true and he has witnessed it himself and then it's basically witness against witness i don't know how you call it in in, uh, in english in german it's aussage gegen aussage like one witness says something the other one says the same you don't have any proof for one or the other and then it's in dubio pro reo um 
So, in that case, Make it quick, I need to. Anytime you're ready. Just Do you need another leaflet? No, I don't need another leaflet. What? What about these leaflets? Anyhow, who gave them to you? What? What are they about? Come on. I mean, I mean, where are these from? I don't have to tell you a thing. Get out of my way. Okay, he doesn't like me enough, uh, which is understandable. He only likes me 26. So I could check if I can somehow um, make him like me a bit more. We have this Telvani bank mask. Let me just drop a quick save. That's the correct button. Because it fortifies personality for 60 seconds. And so now he should like us a little bit more. 46. Maybe this is enough. It is not. Oh, ah, it switches to 26 once. Okay. Load the quick save. It switches to 26 once I got to this topic. Yeah, okay. It, it, but it stays at 26. So now per, even persuasion will be very hard. Yeah, it doesn't. Luckily, it doesn't matter because I have saved the game. I, honestly, I don't understand these intimidate taunt things. Make it, quick, it seems completely random to me if they work on it. Kajit do elf work? You, you do the work of the elves? Well, what I do is a lot of stuff. Well, she doesn't have anything to say to me, actually. So how can we convince him... Watch it. Okay. So we need to... Uh, I'm actually not very willing to just give this up. Like, write it in my list and... Um, you know. I don't want to do that. What can we do... Maybe we can learn a spell of charm. That would be kind of awesome. Uh, that's the wrong guild. And it would also mean that we can charm our way into the other person that we need to charm. So let's head downstairs. Hello, uh, Trebonius. Do you have something to... No, you're just a guild master. You don't do anything, right? Um, I, what I like to know is I want to know where I can learn some spells, actually. Can you can you teach me some spells? No, you can only have me travel. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. Ah, Siri Lanwe. I, I know that you that we were off on a wrong start. But, um, you know, do you have any charming spell or something? Maybe I need something like that. Jump, blind, invisibility, chameleon, detect key. Detect key also sounds very interesting, but we don't need any keys for now. There are more or less creature. Hmm. Hmm. Spell. Um, it seems like I, I will have to. Uh, it's another one for the list, I suspect. Let me check. Travel to Aldrun and check the people there. I mean, I have enough gold to travel around now. There we are. Vina, do you have it? No, you don't have spells. Oh, don't don't worry about the blueprints. I will get them. I first need to travel there and first need to learn a charming spell. Um, well, of course, it also would be nice to have like a scroll of charming or something like that. But these only work once. Wow. Blind, burdened, demoralized, disintegrate armor, disintegrate weapon.
I need to check for permanent enchantments actually also. Restore health, nah. Purity of body, red mind. Nah. These all are not interesting, thank you very much. You know, I want to be able to charm people. I want to make people like me. What I want, I want, as I said, I want to make people like me. What's this about? No one here trains spells except for that single person, which is really, really sad. And no, I'm not going to make the obvious, obvious reference. And this is the alchemist trade guy. Maybe up here, that old person with a beard sells spells. Hide hex, detect key silence, slow fall, clumsy touch. Uh, damage poison reflect, sanctuary telekinesis. I never tried telekinesis, to be honest. I don't even know how this would work in the game. I guess I can just activate things that are further away, like 25 feet away in this case. Actually, it doesn't sound too shabby. Being able to activate levers, although I think this game doesn't. Yeah, this game doesn't even have many levers and things like that. This is something they added later. Himla. Ooh, he has lots of things. Wow, hide, sleep. That's nice. On the other hand, none of these are interesting for me for now. Well, let's check out the travel agent. Hi, hello, Edwina. I'm still refusing to just let this one go. And. Balmora. How may I help you, Khajiit? How about some spells? It seems like they all don't have this. Nope. Calm unit is only a calm spell. Yeah, it seems like they don't have something that sounds like a spell to charm people. Well then, let us travel to Aldrun. Because what we want to do is we want to go to Gnesis and so basically this is where I'm selected. This is where I'm selected. I don't know why it's so if you're watching this video and if you have watched the videos before, if you haven't, then just do it and then tell me, did I not scroll there? Was I too blind to see this? Did I actually hover over it and not see the name? Why is there a map marker now for him so left? Um, I was looking for Dagon Fell, to be honest, but um, I was also looking down here somewhere and thought I would have to cross this water around here or here but this is where i want to be so as this is on an island we need to find a way to uh, to cross the island and a little bird has told me that um the cities around the coast here um some of them have travel agents like um ships that is so i, I said that i won't take a quick travel if i haven't been to a place but um, from a role-playing perspective, it makes a lot of sense that they 
don't swim over or, or levitate over or something like that, but instead take the boat if possible. So of course, what my character, what, what Nighty would do in this case, of course, is try to find someone selling a boat ride over to this island. And as they said, it's southwest of Dagenfell, so Dagenfell is somewhere around here on the island. So we're looking for a boat ride to Dagenfell, and I'm going to go along the coast and see if there is a town. So I'm going to basically teleport to Gnesis, head north, and then get along the coast if, and see what kind of stuff, quests, and so on we find there. And of course, if I do so, I can also real quick check out that one guy that wanted me to bring her, I think, to the where we go um am i am i blind now yeah escort phonus rathrion to coal cave on the way to, from eldrun to margan which is somewhere here he wants us to to take them to Coal Cave, which is here. So basically, we will we will travel to Margan, hit the, the guy, and then take him or take him with us. Um, but first of all, I'm going to open the leaflet again. Um, slender against Aurana Prairness need to charm and there came, comes the battery warning of my tablet I need to charm guy in um, foreign quarter plaza there we go so that we did this and so I'm going to head outside now and I must say do I this. Yeah, can you can you please can you please let me go? Pa oh, come on. She's not letting me go past. Just for the reference, we are in Aldrun. I am not that much of an idiot. Uh, I just thought I was and had forgotten that we were somewhere else. But we in fact are in Aldrun. And we are going to leave now for. How may I help you, Kaji? Not without checking the guild chest for more restore magicka potions because this is something we need a lot. Now we can cast stuff without having to rest every two um, shock balls that we throw. Oh, great sandstorm. I hate these. So we travel to first to Balizra and then to Margan. Maybe even we can take a Silt Strider to Margan. I'm going to check that out because that would be... Um, ah, thing is... It is on the way to Margan. So if we take a Silt Strider, we, won't, we will never meet that person. Well, that also sucks. And there we go. Our fur is getting very sandy. This is this is actually the worst thing that can happen to you. I'm also walking the wrong direction. This is the worst thing that can happen to you. Your fur getting all sandy because it's very hard to get that sand out of your fur. And if you groom your fur, then your sand will be stuck again in, in your mouth. And this is ah, it's ah, it's just just disgusting. And if you bathe yourself, then the, the then the sand will even get stuck in your fur. We'll get all sticky and stuff. There we go. Off to Margan. In the hopes of meeting a new friend. And maybe killing some mobs. Maybe I should train the other schools also. Hmm. I mean, I'm currently training my spark spell, which already is pretty good. If 
I take a look at it. Well, now it has 33 because I'm uh, I'm out of fatigue. But if I am really quick resting, so I'm not out of fatigue, I will have a success chance of 100%. So I could even make a stronger one right now. But if I check the this is destruction. For example, the healing spell. I'm going to turn off my tablet now because it complains about the battery life. It will turn off soon anyway. The healing spell, for example, is very low, so I need to use it. And also, well, it is 89%. That's, that's pretty good. But for example, something like Cure Blight Disease on Self is very weak. I should learn more spells actually and get more stronger spells like a stronger feather spell since it has already 100% chance well Kaderagnesis then Margan must be in this direction and there is another one of these so let me try and train a bit more of restoration by fighting with this and using my magic abilities to heal myself instead. It's not how I wanted to fight in the, in the beginning, but nonetheless, it is some kind of training. Now I just have to figure out where I put the healing spell. Ah, it's on that button. As you see, I failed twice, even though my chance is over 80%. And now I can not take off my clothes, but quaff a potion, and I'll be good again. Yes, it is time to make the next level of spells, I think. Margan, that way. Nobody here, except for this one suit rider who immediately attacks us. No, that's not as nothing to waste the healing spell for. fight and I don't know where the enemy is and I can't see anything. Let's oh, get one of these. I hate use cliff racers. Come on. There you go. Having a quick save and checking what is in there. I guess this is a place where they will attack me on sight. Yes. And this is also some place where I can train. So here's the thing. I wanted last thing that I planned to do was switching to light armor. There we go. It's real quick. Here's up that one. Drop another quick save and head out to the cave. So in this game, sneaking doesn't level up like in the newer games. In newer games, right now, I would be leveling up sneaking. I could just walk against the wall and would be sneaking all the time and thus leveling it up. No, this time, or in this older version, I actually need to uh, pass a sneak check. So basically, there must be a creature who could, in theory, detect me. And if they don't, then... It counts. 
then then I level up my sneak spell a little bit. This is if I do check it. This is the zero percent progress towards skill increase. And I am detected, which means the sneak skill thing didn't work. And now I'm sneaking again. I guess these are successful checks, because I think movement and taking stuff from something. This Nixon should be able to recognize me. There's also a person. She seems to be only uh, in a close combat, uh, melee oriented. Yeah, this Nixon doesn't see me. Does this count? No. Maybe I need to train my sneak skill a little bit more manually. I guess the Nick sound also just is stuck somewhere. So yeah, I'm, I'm feeling quite adventurous right now and I want to have a little bit of, you know, something different while we're walking from A to B. Not all that boring stuff all the time. So I decided to take out a cave, as we've been told right at the beginning, um, usually in the caves there are smugglers, this is something of worth, something of worth, I'll look at that. An instrument. And the key to this place. Oh, and it's the outlaw key, so it's this definitely is a place of outlaws. I have a little bit of weight left in my inventory. So let's head. Since I have a little bit of weight left, I'm going to the left also. Checking if I can find something here. Seems like there is nobody here. When well, there is stuff here, and this is this is just perfect. A soul gem which I can sell. Well, I think I should put that goblet back. There we go. But I think up there is, is even some, some place to sleep, so it is not counted as owned. So I'm going to sleep and disable sneak because there are no enemies around here anymore. And head back out. Mm, ah, yeah. I now remember we have to do this. Mark. Arm CV intervention. Where do we land? Of course, in Ardrun with the Sandstorm. I forgot that we have this trick. We don't need to walk past back and forth. This is something that they removed starting with Oblivion. Which makes the game way more annoying to watch for you people because I'm the kind of guy who sneaks around all the time. So I'm, I, I usually walk around this, just this. And I'm over encumbered all the time, so I also can't run. Uh, hello, hello, good sir. I'm going to sell something for you. I have something to sell to you. For example, this axe and this belt and um, lots of more other stuff. Oh, don't ask where I got them. That would be just too... Uh, you know, that would be kind of weird. Restore fatigue sounds good. Mm, the plate, the loot, the vase. Look at that. The soul gem we can use to recharge. Um, things like the designer shoes, which we don't use. But we can make things that we do use. Or we can actually enchant things with them. And we got ourselves a little money from that haul. And now we're just going to use a recall. Sorry. To get back into the cave. Now we can even check out these. So I'm mainly going to take the money. And these things, which are 
a bit more worthy. Restore luck and money. Only the things that are actually of enough worth to me. I don't know. Oh, let me let me try using shift next time. Ah, if I if I use shift while clicking, I'm going to take all of these. See, I didn't remember that. Ooh, a cool flame stars, nice. So I can try using marksman weapons at some point. Nope. Ah, if I use control, I only take one. Very good to know. Let's check out the boxes up here. Ooh, 250 arrows, nice. We're not a marksman, but we can still sell them. There we go, more money. It's not much, but it's loot. A rusted chest which is trapped. Well, let's try untrapping it then. Mm, I think that was a bun. We are not good enough to disarm that trap. I'm going to try anyhow. Our security skill is not good enough, but if you're, um, how do you say, if you are willing to wait long enough, then you can just do it. And this also just trained our skill. Well, for what? For one simple coin. Well, and the skill, the slight skill increase. Okay, up here, it's not just the bed, but also a barrel, get the gold. And um, we have another sleep. There we go. Quick save. And let's check out that part of the cave. We're pretty much overpowered now. Um, which also is a little bit due to me playing on the lowest difficulty setting. Okay, nothing here. Salt rise, restore fatigue, that's good. Restore fatigue, even better. Let's just use them right now. Hound mead restores fatigue, salt the quama egg restores fatigue, and the salt rise also. And this makes an even stronger, should make an even stronger potion. Now we have made Restore Fatigue potions over here. Of course, Restore Health and Restore Magicka are much more interesting. But hey, it also levels up our alchemy skill. There we go. Quick save sneak. And let's check out what we find on the other side. And don't worry that I don't have the sword selected. I have a quick button for that. Ooh, the rope doesn't sound too good. Okay, I think this door will be opened with the key that we just found because it usually is. Look at that woman. Okay, she saw us. And she seems to be a mage by the way she's holding her hands. Or, correction, she was a mage. She has fortified strength, which isn't something we want to use. And we're actually giving her the dignity of leaving her with her clothes. Or her clothes on, that is. Well, 
He said die fetcher and that's it. I think he's kind of stuck. Let me try using these. I know that I could sell them. Value 15 for each. But I'm going to try throwing them anyway. So our marksman skill is very bad, as you can see. And one of them hit. Let's see if there is more of them. Chest with level 10. We should have a spell out for that. Undo this open door. Uh, that's the button for spells. It opened the door. Scuttle, restore fatigue, perfect. So I think the only way to effectively do this is to create, the, try to create the potions right away. When you find the stuff. And a ring which is very light. So the uh, value to weight ratio is very good. One, two, try. Nope. There's, yeah, there's nobody up there, so we can stop sneaking. That was Ulvon Lenny. And we don't want the Alkalol. I'm going to open that door. I don't have enough Magicka to cast that spell. Oh well. I can rest until healed. And there we go. Um, back when I played this for the first time, I just took everything with me that I could, because everything has some worth. But to be honest, being rather picky mm, feels more realistic than just taking every damn thing with you. Why would I be interested in some... Well, this, For example, this is an expensive build. This I'm going to take with me. I'm going to take the expensive pants also. Maybe I'll even wear them. But um, I think I have two things again. Yeah, the scuttle and the Kwama egg. And I created a potion. And those get stronger the better I, I get with uh, my alchemy skill even. So this is why I'm doing this. Oh, Surfate of Thieves. And I gained knowledge from this book. My security skill increased. Well, I would say, this is an eight page book, I would say, I'm going to stop this episode here, and in the next episode, we're going to actually read a book for the first time. So, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, we'll see you next time, and the dice, as always, will tell you when this will be. Bye bye!